Moon Shuffle game will be taking a look at the recent past. Energy between you and your person will find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Emperor, and it's with the Magician. Now, the Emperor shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed. And that's what you need to think about when you get the Emperor in a reading. And I say this because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. The Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness, the confidence, that the self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best, because if you could master yourself, then you'll have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. Now, it's with the Magician, which is a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations, this card reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate. You will not, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then do something. Because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So, what I'm picking up, Leo, the recent past energy, with this emperor clarified by the magician, for you and your person, it looks like you're dealing with someone that is very, you feel like they're very cold. Yeah, they don't open their heart. They, heart, they have a hard time ex maybe expressing themselves or showing emotion. They never want to com come across as being vulnerable. And it feels like you're dealing with someone with no emotions or just really cold. Yeah, you can't get them to open their heart to you. This person could be a leader, a boss, really arrogant type. Yeah, and so it looks like for a lot of you, you might be manifesting some new beginnings with someone else or just somewhere else. If it's not with another person, it could be just a new situation altogether. Because, yeah, a lot of you are with someone who's very cold. It doesn't feel like there's any warmth or love in the connection. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got the Ace of Wands. And so the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Wands can indicate new beginnings, very positive ones. They're in the realm of accomplishments. Could be related to work, career, family, romance. If you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. This card it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a really good cause. So you're likely to be feeling really energetic, positive. Or you'll be feeling that way soon. Yeah, I say soon because if you take a look at the Ace of Wands, it's a card, it's a card above the word present. It looks like it's sitting above the clouds, but no, it's actually burst above the clouds really fast and powerful. So things could turn around for the better very soon. Also, when you get the Ace of Wands, it's a good time to start something new. Yeah, this could indicate maybe a new, a new love relationship is headed your way. 
And if you're committed, it's possible that the relationship could go, could undergo a new beginning. Maybe rise to new levels of understanding each other. Now, it, but it's with this five of pinnacles. So that kind of changes everything. Now, the five of pinnacles can point to a time when life could start to feel less than secure. The important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. You might start to feel alone, but just know you have the capacity to change that. Reach out. You could feel like you're being left out in the cold, as though, as though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. Just realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, is to go out and ask for it because the help that you need will come. So basically coming up for you and your person, Leo, it looks like, like I said, you're trying to, you're really trying to go for a new beginning. Because you got two new beginning cards here. The Magician and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, but the Magician is saying you've got to take action. So if you don't take action, nothing's going to happen. And it looks like coming up, you you may not feel like... Maybe, maybe you don't feel like you're strong enough to go forward with a new beginning because the Five of Pentacles is about insecurities. Um, not feeling powerful enough or not feeling good enough or just feeling less than secure. So something about the connection or your situation could be holding you back from going towards the new beginnings that are here for you and that you want to manifest. Maybe you're dependent on this person, this emperor financially. That could be it. So you're not feeling secure enough financially. Something is holding you back from going, from going towards your new beginning. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is two of cups and the death card now two of cups can refer to romantic partnerships but that's not its only connotation it can speak of balance friendship joy sharing this card says that things are likely to be going well you should be feeling more than usually love care for and content now it's with the death card keep in mind this death card does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will and such things are not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation. It indicates change. Definitely a time of deep transformation could be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things, and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no, may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now, this transition, it can be very difficult for some people, even though the change is nearly always needed. So, the challenge, Two of Cups, clarified by the Death Card. So, yeah, I'm kidding, Leo, that it looks like you probably know someone who you want to go towards a new beginning with. With this Two of Cups here, you see this person as the ideal partner. Um, yeah, for a lot of you, you already know someone. With, when you're with them, it feels like a romantic love, a partnership that could go to marriage or a proposal. So it looks like you're really ready to end this connection with the Emperor. Uh, the Death Card is showing this, and it's also showing that you've lost interest in this Emperor. They still haven't opened up. Or, or they're still not showing any warmth. And they've probably been this way for a while. 
just they just don't open up their heart to you very cold and like I said for a lot of you you want a new beginning with someone else that's why the two of cups is here you feel this other person is a you feel like a union a deep connection the ideal partner so let's move on over let's take a look and see what the outcome the outcome is a page of cups and it's paired with the ace of swords okay page of cups is showing a need to play dream have a little fun when this card appears it can mean that you've been taking yourself too serious there was a poet or a writer that once said the one thing I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious yeah the first can be imperative and the second can be a disaster you have to know the difference now so the ace of swords the ace of swords can indicate new beginnings why wow, you got three new beginnings here so some new beginning is really trying to happen for a lot of you Leos yeah a lot of you three new beginning cards here and then you got a powerful love the two of cups just know when you get the ace of swords sometimes this new beginning it gets started by a separation of some kind from a relationship from a job or a situation just know as anxiety producing as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be underneath it all is actually really good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go where you need to be yeah so this is pretty much it's clarifying that you've got some great new beginnings trying to happen you you're manifesting them but something could be holding you back with this five of Pentacles you're not feeling confident enough to go for it you're not feeling secure enough to go for it something could be standing in your way you got this ideal mate that's coming toward you or it's someone that you already know yeah you're no longer interested in this emperor it's too cold there's no warmth when you're with this person it's almost like you two could be strangers yeah so like I said a lot of you know who this two of cups is and you have a lot of fun with this person yeah with the page of cups showing here you have a lot of fun with this person and you realize that this person can bring bring the life back to you it's because you kind of died when you were with this Emperor yeah so you realize with the ace of swords here you're ready to cut it out ready to cut out this recent past energy and go towards your new beginning and you feel like this is, this is where your happiness is going to be yeah with the page of cups here you could be going towards someone who's younger than you because whenever you hear the word page in the tarot that can mean youth a student immaturity someone younger than you and I'm kidding for a lot of you this person is younger than you but they make you really happy and they they bring joy and fun back into your life so that is the reading that I have for you Leo I hope you enjoy the reading I hope it resonate as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like the reading please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation once in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, I want to say thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care of yourselves. 
come back and join me for the next Leo reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind, the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member or a situation. So, just take the readings for however it resonates. Because, like I said, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Leo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.